Oh, hello, this is not a spring chicken, as you can see. I'm sitting here playing with jewelry and having fun, and yes, it's been gifting sweet time from the Oscar. So we're doing lots of catch-ups, so you're going to have to catch up and see what we've been up to, because I know for a lot of you, other than if you've been watching our live taping and live streaming us to see what's going on, you're, you know that we've been busy and having a lot of fun and doing coverage all over the place, but you haven't been... Oh, am I excited and talking a million miles a minute? Oh, wait. Yeah, I... Oh. You know, speaking of, I guess you better bring old Kevin on with comments on the headlines of today. I know. Look at you. What's all that stuff you have with you today? Oh, I, I have the newest member of the family, Bite Me Obama. Oh, wait a minute. Bite Me Obama? That was like well, a gigantic flea. No, the, uh, you know, because Bite Me Obama is here because the President of the United States, basically, he can't say F you when it comes to the fact that the gas prices are twice what they were under George Bush and that the employment is three points higher than it was under George Bush. But so what about, he just says, Bite Me. But what about that historic agreement with the North Koreans? Oh, well, that's simply okay. As Obama, as their pre some of the people on his staff, the the... The world seemed to be conspiring against the President of the United States because every time he does something great like brings peace to the world, a natural disaster happens. Today, Davy Jones of the Monkees died, and that's the main item on all the news, not the great thing that he did in North Korea, which everybody knows that never happens. And another case of world event overwhelming all the news and the Obama messages overlooked by the media that is all against him. I know, the media is always giving their kiss ass, including the people over at Fox News when anybody remembered it. But uh, he has this excuse every time things don't go right. There's a world event that, you know, there's no world event. Mickey Jones is not a world event. Debbie Jones is a nice guy. He died of, oh, he died of a heart attack at old age, folks. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Davy Jones, how old was he? 66, and he had a heart attack. But I think this is the second heart attack he's had in two weeks, though. Uh -huh. And generally, what happened was he, he never had a, I don't think he had a heart problem before. And, the, and at his age, a massive heart attack followed by another massive heart attack generally means you're not going to make it, so. And GM is on track to make $10 million on the sale of fewer autos. It's mathematically impossible. You cannot make a $10 billion profit selling less cars than you were selling. Okay, the whole automobile industry is selling less cars than General Motors used to sell. General Motors couldn't make a $10 billion profit selling 10 million cars. Now they're selling 4 or $5 billion and making a $10 billion profit? Can't mm. be done. And Romney victories make certain he will be running against Obama in the fall. Okay. Uh, here's how it works in Arizona. The uh, majority of the people that came out to vote for him were Mormons. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And in, in Michigan, his home state, they have voting that is allowed before the election takes place. I'll, I'll say that what, what they said, the people that voted yesterday voted um, two to one against Romney. And he only won by 20-some thousand votes in a state that, that's his home state. And, you know, and, you know, and they said that uh, he, he basically he got one more delegate than did Santorum in his home state. Uh, so that's not, they said that, uh, that, that he, they said it looks like they're going to fight clean to the convention floor because Ron Paul and Newt Gingrich have said they have no intention of pulling out. And BBC admits that Muslim threats work on their news coverage. Isn't that something? They said, well, we have, they said Christians don't threaten to kill us, Muslims do. Was that what I heard them talking last night on television, which they found that unbelievable. They said they're trying to figure out whether to, you know, congratulate you know, the Chu guy, which is the Department of Energy person, for saying that the President of the United States want gas prices to go up so that uh, it will force people into green energy, which is telling the truth. And then the guy, the head of the BBC said, the reason we give the shaft to Christians is because Christians don't threaten to kill us. Muslims do threaten to kill us. And Michael Jackson's Dr. Conrad Murray denied Bell. Um, yeah, because he's in jail for uh, second-degree murder, so um, <laughs> they generally don't let him out because the guy has got, they know he's going to split the country. Of course he would. Yeah, because he's lost his medical license, he can't get it back, and he, he will simply flee, you know, whatever border he can get across because they're, they're not going to extradite you for a second-degree charge. And founders, not keepers, treasure sent to Spain. 
I know, this is ridiculous. These people found a warship that had, had, um, had all kinds of uh, doubloons and stuff on it, and the Obama administration ordered that all of this stuff be given back to the Spanish. What? Yeah. Uh, and the, the, war, the, the, the rules are that if it's a merchant ship, basically it can go either direction, but a ship that is on a, a warship, whatever was on that warship then becomes open, you know, comes open to anybody that discovers it. So the company lost a fortune due to the President of the United States kiss-assing people. I mean, because they spent all that money. All that time, all that all effort. That they found a war. I mean, thing like, it's got like, a, the, the ship had four decks. It was a man of war with like four decks full of guns. But it was a commercial ship. So what did they do? Not like Obama's going to pay the bill. Well, no. I mean, they lost uh, all that uh, money. Basically, almost seven hundred million dollars, and they said that the, seven hundred million. They, they said they, the people that basically lost it said the Obama administration has given it back to Spain, so that Spain can use it to pay bills with, because they said they're going to sell all of the stuff on the open market, all of it. Oh, sheesh. Yeah. And twelve killed in protests ag across Afghanistan. Yeah, it's, you know, and it, 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 you know. The president, the, the people in the White House said, well, it was considered to be appropriate at the time, the, you know. But what he did, they said Obama once again sucked up to somebody and he got the same reaction. Okay, when you're weak, they teach you a lesson. And Obama looks like he's extremely weak to every Muslim dictator in the world. And evacuations in Syria as diplomatic pressure mounts. Okay. The Obama administration, if Assad doesn't stop what we're doing, we may have him declared a war criminal. Bite me. <laughs> Ten-year-old girl's death in fight with student ruled homicide. It's not a homicide. You go home, your parents are, you go home, you're perfectly he healthy, uh, you, you know, and, uh, you know, it, 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 you don't call that a homicide. You call it parental neglect. Mm -hmm. But they're going to charge another ten-year-old girl who is half the size of the 10-year-old girl that got killed of killing the other 10-year-old. No, it doesn't work that way. First of all, you don't declare homicides in the state of California on 9- and 10-year-olds. Mm -hmm. And witnesses ID teenage gunman in Ohio shooting. Yeah, because he was, he just somebody, okay, they found out that, oh yes, he didn't take, it wasn't a gun that he should have had, it was a gun he stole. Two, he's from a good left-wing family. And three, he wasn't particularly interested in killing any certain person, he just wanted to go shoot people. And person of interest named in search for floor, that firefighter. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, it, 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 okay, when people disappear, they disappear and you never find them again. If you find somebody, they got to really be stupid, like, ooh. No wonder Monty likes it, made a noise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and we, we replaced him with Bo Obama now. <laughs> <laughs> and plane makes emergency landing at, landing at Newark Airport. I, I know, this is really a bad news. Okay, you want to see how bad... I mean, can you believe this is the news no, today? Okay, okay, you understand how little the press is wound up over Obama bringing peace to the world? You can hear it. Yeah, they're, they're, when they're doing, like Mickey Jones, Davy Jones leaves the top of the news and they're talking about, you know, airplanes landing. And one in three children drink too much juice survey. Yeah, if you're from a state where they have lots of juice too, you really drink this stuff. But juices are good. We, we used to go, we, I used to go, okay, when there were orange groves and everything everywhere in Southern California, we'd go buy bushels of oranges that were, you know, the cold stuff and make orange juice continue. We had orange juice all the time. And scientists see red on NASA cuts of Mars missions. Oh, well, we're going to send people to Mars. That's the President of the United States. And then he turns NASA over to a Muslim outreach program. Mm-hmm. An astronaut creates Lego model of International Space Station. And uh, you really got a lot of time to kill. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not working anymore because Obama's cut the space industry. I did hear people, I mean, I heard an idiot last night that's an Obama. Well, even if these things are failures, we have to fund them so that uh, things can be learned from what, you know, and then one guy said, yeah, but if you didn't, you learn the same things by not funding them. They said, if you know, they said, I know a turkey when I see a turkey. Yeah. And unfortunately, the Democrats have never seen a turkey they didn't want to pay more for. And officers hurt in the Occupy Clash at California Capitol. 
I, I know. It, it, it's just um, these people do not seem to get it through. You know, occupy this, then occupy that. Nobody cares except the Democrats. <laughs> and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, there are times anymore when it really pays to be as old as you are. 